So there's this video on YouTube, beautifully made uh, math video called Nature by Numbers. If you haven't seen it, go click, click this link that I'm slapping up here and go watch it because it's absolutely beautiful. It's about the Fibonacci sequence and uh, the golden ratio. Um, I'm not going to get too deep into it, but there's a part in here where they show how, for example, the seeds in a sunflower plant are, are organized. And you can see how it makes these nice tight spirals, and these follow golden ratio patterns, or the golden ratio pattern, I should say. I'll play this here so I can show you from this part. I'm not going to play the whole video, I'll let you go watch it, but we have a string here that is some distance long and they have a mark here where this section to this section is the golden ratio. And they wrap it around in a circle. This angle is relative to that larger angle, a golden ratio. And every time you add 137.5 degrees it spits out a seed and they keep spreading out from the center. And this is such a really cool and elegant way to arrange particles in plants. All sorts of plants do it. I'm no biologist. I'm not very elo eloquent when I describe biology. But I love this pattern and I wanted to show you how you can make one in Microsoft Excel if you ever felt like doing something pretty with it. First, let me go snag um, the numerical approximation of it, because we're going to need that. Excel can only take about 15 floating points, so I'm just going to snag the first... Mm, oh, I don't know how many that is, but I'm just going to... Oops. Control C. There we go, if I can get my fingers working properly. Hop over to Microsoft Excel. I'm going to pop it right in here, and I'm going to label this cell phi for the golden ratio. Each um, seed, if you will, has an index. And this column here is going to be my index column. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. I'll, I'll create more later, but for now I'm just going to put these right down here. Each seed is going to have a distance from the center. I'm going to call that D. That's my D column. It's going to have an angle that it goes out from the middle at relative to, say, the horizontal x-axis. I'm going to call that theta. Why not? Eventually, it'll, we'll use some trigonometry to convert distance and angle to an x position and a y position. So I'll save those columns for there. I'm not going to get deep into the trigonometry. I'm just going to if you don't know it, ask me later and I'll, I'll help you out with it, but I'm just going to assume that you're okay with it. Distance for each seed is the square root of its index number. SQRT of this number here. So I'll pull this down. The first angle is going to be zero because that starts right at the right at the center. But if we want to figure out what the golden ratio or the golden section of a circle is in terms of degrees, we have 360 degrees which I'm going to calculate right here, 360 degrees divided by phi, golden ratio. It highlights it here because I have this cell uh, controlled as phi. 222.49 degrees is a golden section. If we subtract that from 360 equals 360 minus this, we get the 137.5 degrees that we saw in this video. Either one will create the same design, just you'll if you use this one you'll get the reverse mirror image of the pattern. So I'm going to call this one the cell angle. And then I'm going to say this cell here equals the previous cell 
plus angle. And now I'm going to drag this one all the way down here. So every seed has now an associated relative angle to the horizontal. This ninth seed is going to be three units out, spiraled around at 1,100 1, degrees, plop a seed down. But degrees and angles don't help as much as the x and y values because what I want to do is eventually plop all these points down on a scatter plot so that you can do whatever you want with them after that. So now using trigonometry the x position is going to be the distance times the cosine of the angle and I have to convert this to radians select the angle, close parentheses, and I have to do the same thing for the y position, but instead of cosine, I'm going to use sine. It's going to be the distance times the sine of the radians of the angle. Select these, pull them down. So now we have 15 seeds that I'm now going to create a scatter plot for. Insert scatter. There aren't many on there. It's, it's kind of hard to tell what the design looks like. Clean it up a little bit. Delete those. Delete that. Make it more square. I'm going to create a couple more. Yeah. Let's go down to 500. Or 1,000. Edit the data. Select data. All the way back down. Scroll back up and see what we got. See, there we go. Now we have our beautiful seed pattern that we saw right here. This is the exact same thing. Uh, the guy who made this video, Estrella Studios, just I don't know how long it took to make it. I, I'm amazed at how beautiful this video is. Um, I'm very jealous of his abilities to <laughs> use 3D graphics like that. But anyway, these are the these are the seeds. Uh, happy trails.